In today's Clash Royale video, I'm gonna show you the new tower drop released in Clash Royale, the third one ever. It's the Daga Duchess. And similar to Little Prince, you can unlock it for free. There will be a tab in the Clash Royale home screen. You just need to tab it and you have it for free. Of course, unlock it by Elite Wildcards and Books. It's a legendary tower troop. So the first one, a normal one, I mean, is the Princess. Then we got the epic one, the Cannon here. And now we got also a legendary one. But with a really, really interesting concept. As you guys can see here, she needs to load up. Otherwise, she's not gonna do anything. The only real, like, the maximum damage she gets, like, I would say it's, like, similar to the Prince, right? She has, like, a bar, as you guys can see there. And if it's, like, full, her attack speed is at the maximum. And if it's, like, the lowest point, as you guys can see here, her attack speed is really, really slow. So it always has to charge up for a few seconds. And at the end, she has, like, max daggers of 8. And this is, like, tourney standard, a tournament standard. Dagger charge every 1.2 seconds. The range is the same as the normal time. And now we're gonna go into some gameplay and I'm really interested to see how good she really is compared to the cannon here and Prince Town if we're gonna see her in the Clash Royale matter. Here we go guys into the first game and I want to see what's going on. So it's already looking really interesting. I mean most of you guys saw it already in the kind of like leaks also from Clash Royale wise that she has to kind of load herself all the time so if she continues to attack something like storm troops at one point her damage attack speed will be really really slow. But overall, I feel like it might be a really interesting addition to the Cannoneer, to the maximum damage, then to the Princess, which is really consistent, and now to her, as you guys can see here. So, she always has to load until she's targeting, so at one point she's not even going to target anymore, which is really, really interesting. <laughs> which is also really, really bad at one point, <laughs> if this going to happen. Okay, so let's see, what is she going to do there? Hello? So you always... So... Okay, so the damage at one point is absolutely crazy, right? So against like battle rams, against pack, against giants, she's doing a really, really good job. But then, whenever this is over, she's not gonna do anything, bro. She looks like Piper from Brawl Stars, and she looks like I don't know, like Peach from Mario. You guys agree with me? But so like, I feel like this suits Bridge Bam decks even more because every time she's like done. With her attack speed, you just continue to spam, continue to spam, continue to spam, continue to spam. So I feel like against Graveyard, she overall should be really good, like in her early stages. But at the end, of course, she was pretty bad. So let's see. This is exactly what I want to find out. So let's see. So this is like really incredible attack speed, but now she's not going to do anything. So I always have to vote. Uh, to wait. Not to vote. What the heck? I don't want to vote. I don't want to wait. I don't I wanna want to do something. Interesting concept though. So it's kind of like a little prince, I feel like, in a way. So just gonna go like for an ability. I feel like it's just gonna be me that, right? It's gonna be too short? Yes. Bro, this is crazy. This is really, really crazy and really, really crazy concept, bro. Also, really fun concept. I know. Let me know what you guys think about that. I personally think it's not broken. It's, is it balanced? Is it too broken? I feel like in some situations, it's gonna be broken. In some situations like this, I feel like the one e just gets cleaned up immediately. But overall, I don't know. Of course, like, compared to the cannon here, if you have, like, a cannon here, I don't know, like, against, um... What would be a good example? Like a cannon here against, um, I don't know, like a battle ram, right? The cannon here alone does something, or like against a giant. The cannon here alone does something. But against the can against like giants and so on, of course, early on she she's doing something, but at the end he's not, she's not going to do anything because she's always like has to target, so she's not able to juice up again and get the maximum value. So this is kind of the problem, I feel like. So. You kind of need to support her way, 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 way better. So this is exactly what you're doing. So, right, she has to load up again against Graveyard at this point. She's not going to do anything. And we're losing the first games because of that. But also here, Battle Ram is on tower. So he's struggling because of that. Really, really interesting concept. Let me know in the comment section if you guys think that's broken or balanced. How do you even pronounce her name? Daga Duchess? Daga Duchess? I'm not really sure about this. I am Daga Duchess. So I'm just going to go Skeletons. Like, Skeletons, of course. So I would say... She's closer, she's closer to the Princess Tower, but I don't know if she's better than the Princess Tower. I'm not 100% sure though. The Princess Tower is way more consistent. The Princess Tower is the most consistent one. The cannon here is just like, she always does a ton of damage. And I feel like this is like, I don't know, like a mix between that. Because, I don't know, she doesn't need to, doesn't charge up. I mean, she, he does charge up. But like the normal, so like, let's see what's gonna happen, right? The battle ram also gets like, I know, it's like, I would say it's like something in between. It's the, the ice boot is also not connecting on tower, right? So this is similar to the cannon here. Bro, it's really, really hard to say if it's balanced or broken. In my opinion, 
I think it's a cool concept, not gonna lie, I really like this concept. Um, I feel like it can be really, really annoying if you're low on Elixir, so with this deck, to be fair, you can't overcommit. If you overcommit at one point with the Dagger Dinches, Dagger Dunches, Dagger Dinches, Dagger, bro, like, I, I, the thing is like, I'm from Germany, and I have never heard this word before, bro. I'm just gonna call her Princess Peach. So every time Princess Peach is gonna be like low and needs to charge up again, this will be so annoying to play against her. But look at this, bro. So the miner at one point will get a ton of damage, but if it's like fully charged up, it should almost completely counter a miner, right? I'm not ready to say goodbye. Also, does pretty well against minions, means they're not gonna connect there. But I'm kinda seeing problems against beatdown decks, but this is of course why we got bro. Look at the knight. So the knight gets like value now. Two shots with one HP because it's not gonna target. Okay, so let's see what oh bro, the battle whim just dies immediately! I feel like I feel like with a building, Princess Peach. Is a bit unbalanced. Is a bit unbalanced. I feel like with, like when both of the Princess Peach are targeting something, when you're like kiting something into the middle as we did there, uh, or like he, he did there with the bomb tower, or like with a tornado, I feel like she's gonna be broken, bro. She's gonna be absolutely busted. So I'm just gonna go skeletons there. Because now both sides are helping. And then of course need to retire. But I'm, I honestly, I feel like this is so far the best concept. Of course, like it's the second tower to be really uh, like um, released into the game. I don't really think you can say it. Does it also know? Okay, so... It's really important. I thought about like the zap we re also resetting the tower too, but this is not gonna happen. This is really good to know. So I'm just gonna go miner there. Skeletons. So I kinda wanna find out again. So in case he's like, can I just go zap there? No, okay. It's not gonna it's not gonna reset a set there. Okay, this is really good to know. Okay, so you can't actually reset the um I mean, that would be really cool, right? So I'm just gonna go for my zap there. But now this type of is really annoying. I don't know. I don't really know, but it's, I think it's a cool concept. Let me know in the comments section, as, you guys, as, as I said before, what you guys think about it. I think it's a really, really cool concept. And it might be really, really nice in some scenarios. Like, an example like this, right? <laughs> the miner just does so much damage, and he needs to overcome it a lot. Really good poison to activate the king tower. When do we get tower troops for king towers? When do we get this Clash Royale? Okay, maybe I shouldn't give them any ideas because mostly you're gonna pay like 50 bucks in the shop. But still, when? So the Miner actually, like against Miner, it feels like really, really good. I don't know, like also against Swarm Troops, it can be good. But like just for the first, right? So like if the if Skeleton Army is there for the first Skeleton, it's really, really good. But at the end, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you of course need to be careful. Bro, like this is crazy. So I'm just gonna go Miner, I'm just gonna go Zap there. And as you guys can see, the Miner will do a ton of damage just because of the Princess Peach. Bro, look at this. Miner just gets two shots in a time. I'm just gonna go for my Miner there. I kinda, bro, I think this card against Balloon will be so frustrating, brother. This card against Balloon will be so, so frustrating because at one point, like at the start, the Balloon gets targeted. The Balloon gets a ton of damage, but then in the end, the Balloon most likely gets like with one hit, like with one HP, like two hits or something because, uh, Princess Peach isn't doing anything anymore. I need to go Zap there. I'm also gonna need to go Ice Bird. Bro. I don't know, bro. She's crazy, bro. She needs to chill a bit. I'm just gonna go Zap on nothing. That was really well played. So, except like this, right? So, do something! Do something! Charge up! So finished. So, so, so finished. I'm just gonna go for a Poison. I'm just gonna go Ice Bird there. It's not gonna come down in time. Oh. I don't know. She's weird. Okay, now we do the ultimate test with Princess Peach. I kind of want to find out what she does. Okay, so I'm just going to go lock there. So what's going to happen now, okay? Okay, what the heck, bro? <laughs> She's also always turning around, I feel like. So I want to see what happens against Balloon. So I'm just going to go for my Balloon there at the bridge. And that's exactly what I was talking about. So let's see. Look at this. The Balloon with 0 HP. <laughs> Okay, it's actually fine, but he actually called it exactly what I was talking about, right? He kept up the pressure when he knew like my like my Princess Peach wasn't charged up. So when you know that the, uh, the opponent's uh, Princess Peach is really, really low, you just want to keep up the pressure, is what Carl did there. And the Bandit normally would have been easily able to counter, but not in this type of situation. So I'm just going to go for this. Okay, really good lock. What am I going to do next up? Am I just going for my... We just go ice gold. I'm just gonna go loon naked here. I kinda wanna see what's happening. So I'm just gonna go balloon. 
I'm just gonna go bomb to I'm just gonna go scan. So now I wanna find out what the balloon is gonna do. So the balloon will do a good job there. Okay, his zap was actually helping. And I think without balloon without zap, I think it's gonna be two shots or like one shot at least. I could have also zapped this for one shot, but it's really, really good to now and call just doing a ton of pressure. And I feel like I don't know if that's the right answer. Like in the new matter. With all the evil battle ramps around because i think evil battle ram will just absolutely does really well because you just play it in bridge band basically right so i think this will be like one of the cards which does pretty well against the princess peach there the dagger guy girl however it's gonna call bro like i don't know i never hear this word again cannon is way easier cannon is way easier so you need to make sure in the community she's gonna be called princess peach i think honestly this will be smart play so we're just gonna bait out his um stuff Okay, so he's really smart. So normally I could have just balloon miner there. Maybe they would like this is honestly smart. This is honestly smart. So I'm just gonna go for my miner there. Now I'm just gonna go skeletons because now the miner's gonna tank everything, all the aggro. And now we can just go for the balloon. He doesn't really have like anything against the balloon. So that wasn't smart choice. Okay, he has evolutions there, but normally if he wouldn't have had it, it would have been a really big shot. But you guys kinda understand what I'm talking about, right? I hope at least you do, otherwise you'll be dumb. So Let's go skeletons there, just to tank. And now I just might go ice golem, and then I might just go in for I don't know ice golem like this. Now I might just go musketeer. Let's go. Just gonna go balloon, skeletons. I'm just gonna go zap. Please do something. Besides activating king tower. It's not optimal, but it's okay. I'm just gonna go ice golem there, I guess, in front. Mm, I might just go balloon there, so please kill that. Whoa, it actually kills that. That's crazy. And now I'm just gonna go zap there, and we might get a shot. Let's go! Crazy shot, bro. What a game. Once again, I'm just gonna go balloon there. And now I'm honestly just gonna go for this. I kind of want to see what's happening. So I'm just going to go for my bomb tower there. Bomb tower is pretty nice. But this might be a shot. It's actually not going to be a shot, but it was pretty close. He had to waste an evolution zap. What's, what the heck is happening? Okay, I'm just going to go for my ice golem there. Okay, bro. It's not, it's not charged up. I need to go bomb tower. No, it's not charged up. It's not going to do anything. I need to go zap. Evolution zap is going to come down. Evolution zap is pretty nice. Okay, so the magic art is going to get a ton of damage if I'm not wrong. Minor. So what the heck is he going to do now? He goes in for this. I can just go for my ice golem there. Bro, his, <laughs> his princess Peach is doing stuff. So let me know what you guys think about that. Is she weak? Is she good? I want to know your opinion in the comment section. I would say I'm out. Thanks for watching. I'm going to be out. Yeah, she's by the way coming. In the new season. Like a